Hi, it's John Foley from Interlink One and Grow Socially, and today I'm here with Jason Pinto. And uh, we're going to talk a little bit about NFC, also known as Near Field Communications. I've got a little poster here to kind of help show you. I won't show you exactly how it works just yet, but if you know Interlink One, if you know John, myself, you know we've really loved these things, QR codes, for a long time. And certainly you know how they work, you know how they've helped your clients, because people could take out their phone, go to an app, scan them, and access more content, hopefully through a mobile website. It's really made print interactive. But NFC, similar concept, right? It makes print or other materials interactive, but there's a big advantage. Instead of needing an app on a phone to scan this, you can actually take your smartphone, tap the poster, and then be directed instantly to the site. So it really does speed up the process of letting someone see this piece of print and then get to your online content. Right. Well, I guess let me ask you this. What are the challenges today with, with near field communications? Okay. Well, when it comes to a QR code, pretty much any smartphone today can scan it. An iPhone, an Android device, a BlackBerry. However, the same is not true just yet for NFC. Um, so, for example, iPhone, which has such a dominant place in the market, is not yet equipped to recognize NFC tags. Um, but there are some Android devices. We read about a Windows phone today, a Nokia that's going to support it in Europe. So the hardware is going to come, but that's really what it is. It's not like you can just take your iPhone and download an NFC scanning app. So, no, so that's, that's an obstacle today, but we don't see that being an obstacle tomorrow. And uh, one of the things that we that I'm I'm always talking about is with with service providers, you know, marketing service providers, printers that want to get into the, the world of mobile communications, is to learn about it and start to educate now, just like we we think that we are. I mean, we, we certainly didn't dream up near field communications. It's been around a long time, as a matter of fact. I always use the the mobile gas station speed pass. You touch yep. the speed pass with your fob, as an example. That's a good example of near field communications. Wow, with, with you didn't have a phone as an example. So you have the hardware. Got the phone. Yeah, you got to have the phone. And then you have to have the chip, exactly. right, that the phone actually can see. Now, these chips can be embedded in the printed material. Yeah. They could be sealed inside. We even have some examples here of a wristband, yeah. right, a uh, printed wristband that could be um, when you, you put something inside, it could be information about you. I hear a lot of folks talking about you know bike racing, using these uh, road tags, they call them, I think, as an example. Um, go ahead, give us yeah, a couple you've more. Got business cards, right? A lot of people have put this QR codes on their business card in the past couple of years. Well, in this case, this card has an NFC chip tag embedded inside of it. Uh, same thing with the poster. There's actually a little chip embedded inside the poster, which enables the phone to tap it and then be directed to online material. So all these little things, there's a keychain that has a chip embedded. Uh, we have these fobs. Uh, these are magnetic pieces. The card, and then what we do is when you when you get the NFC tags, you yep. tell them where you know how we measure them, where they want to go, and, and and so all we do in this example, so this is my LinkedIn card, and all I have to do is tap the phone. Well, after I turn the phone back on here, right? Tap the phone to the NFC piece there. You hear a little beep, and it'll now go and redirect to my LinkedIn page, right? And that's all tracked and measured. Every one of these things that we have here now. If we wanted to do this as an example, let's try this one. All we have to do is take the, the phone that has NFC in it and we'll be redirected somewhere else. You know, just so let's pretend we're in the in the uh, local drugstore. Yeah. And you know, how do you think NFC could be used in terms of retail? Um, one, I would say, let's say it's coupons, right? So you're walking down the, the aisle at a grocery store. Um, normally nowadays, we might see printed coupons on the on the aisle that we'd have to grab and then bring up and redeem. I'm picturing you'd be able to just tap the little display and then either get the coupon right on their phone or send you a discount code that you can redeem later. But it's it's an easy way where it re eliminates a step for, in order right. for someone to get your discount and buy a product. I'll give you one. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm not the one that would go to the, the makeup aisle, but... Uh, the, the, the ladies can go to the makeup aisle, they get to an um, a advertisement that talks about the certain makeup and how it can be applied, yep. right? They could take their phone out, right, take it up there, touch the, the NFC tag there, and then watch a video immediately on how this is applied and how it's, you know, waterproof or anything like that. And that could be for anything in the store. Um, and it goes on and on. You can see NFC tags. You could have them 
uh, on a car. If you're shopping for a car, you touch the car and you get all the details there. Yeah. And maybe even watch a test drive or see road crash, you know, how, how it, it, it maintains it in terms of crashing and, you know, airbags and all that stuff. And I, and I say freestyle because when I think about marketing, these could be used everywhere. And one of the ideas um, that I joked with you about a little bit is how do we, what if, what if it was about shirts, right, or yep. clothing? And you're, you're putting shirts in. And one of the things that I always do when I buy a shirt, I don't always remember where I got it, right? So, and maybe how much it was and what other things they might have had. Well, you could actually have, you know, people could actually embed one of these tags into the shirt. Then you take your phone, touch it, right? And then you could actually get all the details on your shirt as an example. That's awesome. What store you bought it from. Yep. Maybe who the manufacturer was, you know, what brand it was. Um, and really, now you've put that store back in front of the customer, and you've actually put the the man, you know, the person that actually designed the shirt back in front of the customer. And one thing we still we still love QR codes, and we still think they're going to be around for a while. Um, there's one advantage that QR codes might have. For example, with the NFC phone, with a QR code, say first, I could probably be about 10 inches behind this QR code, and it would scan successfully. Near field communications implies just that, that you have to be a bit closer to the actual tag. So right. I still think an NFC will replace where we use QR codes a bit, but at the same time, there's still going to be a place for QR codes in regards to making certain printed pieces interactive for a lot of education. Absolutely. I know that, you know, we always talk about QR code is really just that, a yep. response mechanism to a marketing campaign. Yep. And the same thing for a personalized URL, the same thing for uh, a website, the same thing for your 1-800 number. These are all trackable things in your marketing campaigns. And depending on your target audience, you need to think about those besides just your outbound communication. How will they respond? And these response mechanisms are great and they, they need to be tested. You need to know what, what folks might use it more often based yep. on what kind of phones they have. Um, and really and, uh, know your audience, but they're, they're really good in the sense that you can measure them and, uh, it's a very good point. Anything no, I else? think that's got a ton of ideas. You might have a ton of other questions, but keep following us online on Twitter, our iFlyMobi.com. We're going to keep putting a lot of resources there.